I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so, for the first time in 20 years, cigarette sales actually went up in 2020. This is a huge deal and is something I'm super, super excited to talk about, even though I know I'm a little bit late to the party. It's been a while since 2020, you know what I'm saying? But I'm super, super excited to talk about this nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? Today, I'm going to be smoking a little bit of a Marlboro Virginia Blend cigarette, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about, as said, why cigarette sales went up for the first time in 20 years. But I think without further ado, let's go ahead and get one of these out, and let's go ahead and get it lit up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm very excited to talk about this topic and i hope you guys are excited to listen you know what i'm saying and please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have your own opinion on this subject i'd love to hear it before the video starts you know what i'm saying i think without further ado though let's go ahead and get this lit up and let's go ahead and start talking a little bit about this you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying let's go to where's my lighter i gotta find my lighter you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying <sighs> but as said for the first time in 20 years, cigarette sales actually went up in 2020, as said. Now, they may have gone up. Sadly, that does not mean that they went up by a lot because they only went up by 0.4%. That's right. They only went up by 0.4%. However, while that may not seem significant, it is still very, very significant in my personal opinion, at least, you know what I'm saying? In my personal opinion, at least, it is super significant, mainly because cigarettes have been on the downturn for like 20 years now, I gotta be completely honest. They've been on the downturn for like 20 years now, you know what I'm saying? And I gotta be completely honest, y'all. Since they've been on the downturn for 20 years, any rise in cigarette sales is super, super significant. Honestly, even if they just stagnated, it would still be significant, and I'd probably still be talking to you guys about that right now. It's a huge deal. Now, what does the blame lie on? What, well, Who's blaming who for this kind of thing? Well, the main source I used for finding about out about this subject and everything like that was an article from NPR. And the NPR article basically blamed the tobacco companies, which increased advertising spending in 2020 from $7.624 billion to $7.8, what's the, the number? $84 billion. So they increased uh, advertising spending by about $200 million, which really, in my personal opinion, is not really that much of a significant margin, but that's what they mainly blamed it on i gotta be completely honest y'all and that's really the only stuff i can really see on it they also said that people bulk bought a lot of nicotine products in early 2020 mainly because they were scared of the pandemic and they were scared that hey look there might be a tobacco shortage or something like that which obviously did not happen but that's still something to keep in mind now in my personal opinion these two subjects these these those two uh i'd have to say those two pieces of evidence or whatever you want to call them those two opinions not really all that significant. I don't really think those were really the reasons. My personal opinion about this, my personal opinion, we're getting to my personal opinion already because I couldn't really find many good opinions on this kind of thing. I really thought most of the opinions on this sort of stuff were kind of like, okay, yeah, that's possible, but I don't really see how that's really a thing. <sighs> my personal opinion is simple. Why did cigarette sales go up? It was 2020. What was going on in 2020? Not much. Not much was going on. There was not much going on, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was staying at home. Everybody had very little to do kind of thing. Most people had very little to do. I know I certainly had very little to do when I was in college kind of thing. And I got to be completely honest, y'all. That really is the reason in my personal opinion there was not a lot to do. A lot to do. When I'm bored, what do, what do I do half the time? I go smoke a cigarette or two. That's the reason, in my personal opinion, people are bored, so they smoke more cigarettes. Simply put, simply put, you have more time on your hands, you have more time to smoke. That's my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? I know I was smoking a lot more in 2020 just because there was well, not a lot to do kind of thing. I started smoking a lot more in 2020 just simply because, as said, there was not a lot to do. And there is actually evidence to back up my opinion on this, believe it or not, you know what I'm saying? And the evidence can be found in that same NPR article, which I will be linking in the description down below, because I gotta attribute my sources, you know what I'm saying? I gotta attribute my sources. So, the evidence that supports my opinion basically just is, it's very simple. Nicotine consumption in the United States increased by 3.4% in 2020, which makes a lot of sense. So, 0.4% of that may have been cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? 0.4% of that may have been cigarettes, and the other 0.4% may have been vaping. Vaping's been on the rise for a while kind of thing. It's still going up, you know what I'm saying? So I would have to say a significant portion of it is probably vaping. But I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Cigarettes are still a nicotine product, and so it makes perfect sense why that would be a part of it. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Now, 
my number two reason, which is not really a very good reason, I gotta be completely honest, y'all, this was just me trying to think kind of thing, just let me know what you guys think about this opinion. My personal opinion is that in 2020, a lot of stores started buckling down on vape products. A lot of vape shops really, really, really started buckling down on the 18 plus kind of thing. And not a lot of shops at the time really sold a lot of vape products. And one shops, I say, I, I mean, uh, like uh, like smoke shops, sorry, not smoke shops, I mean like gas stations that sell nicotine products or, or have a lot of cigars or something like that, but the cashiers don't really care if you're 18 or anything like that kind of thing, that sort of stuff, but they might have not had vape products at the time. So, cigarette sales may have also gone up because these teenagers who are underage vaping and everything who no longer can get their normal vape product from their normal smoke shop because, well, well they were underage smoking and the vape shop all of a sudden has started caring because of the 21 rule, now, all of a sudden, they've had to turn to cigarettes. That's my personal opinion. But the main reason in my personal opinion is just because people were bored. Simply put, that's my main reason as to why I think cigarette sales went up for the first time in 20 years. That's basically it. Now, that's basically all I have to talk about. I got to be completely honest. That's basically all I got to talk about. And I still got this much of a cigarette left, you know what I'm saying? So I can't end the video until the cigarette's done. But... I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day today. Let me know what your guys' opinion is on this. I said, I know I'm a bit late to the party. It has been quite a while since that article was published, and it has been quite a while since 2020, you know what I'm saying? But either way, I still think it's super interesting, and I still think it's super significant, and I hope you guys feel the same way, you know what I'm saying? But what do you guys think about it? Make sure to let me know your comment in the your comment in the your opinion in the comments down below. You know what I'm saying? I get my words all jumbled up today. You know what I'm saying? Get my words all jumbled up today. But I gotta be completely honest with y'all. This Marlboro Virginia blend is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. So no complaints on my behalf. But man, oh man. Yeah. I don't really know. I couldn't really find many good opinions, in my personal opinion at least. I couldn't really find many good opinions. Most of the blame seemed to be laid on the tobacco companies, which is a typical of normal news and organizations kind of thing. Let's lay the blame on the tobacco company. Yes, advertising spending increased by $200 million. $200 million is nothing when it comes to advertising spending. I gotta be completely honest, y'all. It is absolutely nothing, especially with cigarette companies. And as said, most of the advertising spending wasn't even spent on advertisements because you basically can't run any advertisements unless it's actually in the shop on the window or something like that in an actual store kind of thing you can't really run advertisements or anything like that it's all price discounts so i'm like why maybe people bought more because of the price discount sure but the people buying the price discounts let's be honest here they're not going to be new smokers or anything like that and i'm not trying to say the npr article tried to say that it was all new smokers buying it but certainly that was in the back of my head i gotta be completely honest y'all so it certainly is something to consider that I, I don't know. I don't know. I really do not lay the blame on the tobacco companies in this one. Yeah, sure. The, the marketing budget went up. Yeah, sure. Maybe they just had extra money to spare. Who knows? I got to be completely honest, y'all. But in my personal opinion, I don't know. I think it's just because people were bored. I got to be completely honest, y'all. But basically, I don't really know what to think super well. I don't really know what to think super well. Let me know if you guys agree with me. Let me know what your guys' personal opinion is. If you guys disagree with me, I would love to see your guys' comments. Very curious to find out. I, read lo I, I love I love having disagreeing kind of, kind of stuff. I love being open to new opinions kind of thing. So please let me know your guys' opinion in the comments down below. That's basically what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, I'm going to go and end this right here. Or end this right here. Finish off this cigarette in just a moment. And then I'm going to go and end this right here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get my words all jumbled up again. But I hope y'all having an absolutely, absolutely fantastic day so far. I cannot complain personally. Sadly, not able to record outside today. It is a little bit windy. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. It's just sadly too windy to actually be able to record. Otherwise, all you guys would be hearing is wind noise. But I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Still not a bad day. And I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day as well. And if you guys aren't, well, I hope this video can just make your day a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna go and take one more hit though. And then I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and put this out. Let's go ahead and put this in my little bit of a cigarette butt box. You know what I'm saying? And I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and have to end the video right here. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my opinion as to why cigarette sales may have gone up for the first time in 20 years. You know what I'm saying? And I certainly do look forward to seeing your guys' opinion as well. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. As said, make sure to like and subscribe for more content if you guys did enjoy the video. And uh, yeah, I'm forgetting my outro. I can't remember. I can't believe myself. I'm forgetting my outro. But make sure to like and subscribe for more content. As I said, I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, everything in the description down below. You know, what I'm saying I remember my outro. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. As I said, uh, man, I'm forgetting again. Have a great one, y'all. <laughs> Stay safe out there and uh, peace. Have a great one. Stay safe out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, what I'm saying. You know, what I'm saying.